Muhammad twice. So you conclude. If we are afraid of him, you conclude. We defeated him twice. That's, well, you should conclude. This is a, it's a mathematical situation. We defeated a person twice. So is, does that suggesting that we are afraid of him? No. That's it. We're not afraid of Muhammad. In fact, he is afraid because he can't tell when he's, whether he's going to run or not. As I was telling you, uh, a couple of days ago, he was asked if he was going to run. He said, you don't know, you never, you never know what would happen. I mean, if you want to contest, you know you contest. We are ready for him. We are interested at this point in how we can build the economy. What we are interested in is whether or not he has a solution. Because we saw him vanquish gains that he got. We saw him collapse our economy. We saw him collapse our banking sector. We saw him cause Ghanaians to live in absolute difficulty in this country without electricity. It was an economic situation. He couldn't manage it. He's coming. We want to interrogate. That was why we're emphasizing for you that hold everybody to the fact. What is his proposition? What is he bringing? We want to know. You force that conversation to happen. So far, I don't see that. We're allowing the NDC just hide behind the difficulty. Which difficulty we have explained to you uh, come about because of the COVID-19 and the Russia-Ukraine war. They are denying that. You are allowing them to get away with it. We want you to hold them accountable because all of us have equal stake in this matter. If Ghana is not doing well, both of us, all of us are not doing well. So if they want power, they must show us why they want power. And why you want power is what ideas you have to build this economy. So if anything at all, he is afraid because we don't think that he has the solutions for this economy. And he can't do it. Because if he would have done it, if he had what it took, he wouldn't have taken an economy growing and vanquish it and take it to IMF. That is the, the crux of the matter. If he has a solution, he should bring it. That's what we're waiting for. Well, if he tries to come, if he gets the confidence, he masters the confidence to come. I tell you, with the support of Ghanaians in building this economy back and forcing him to tell us, what is it? Remember the last time he tried, he said one of his ideas was to legalize Okada, right? And between you and I, if that is the option he has, we want to see what he's bringing. Those ideas, those visions that he has, which vanquish this economy, want them to come and repeat. He has nothing new. That's our, that's our belief. But if you help us as the fourth estate of the realm, if you can force the conversation to be had in this country about solution, about what the NDC has, not about what is happening in the country. Yes, what is happening and what is your response to it? If we force that conversation, the NDC will lose any day. And you know, the electoral numbers. NDC has not won comfortably in this country. They always, if they do, win by the skin of their teeth. And we are confident that if we do this based on issue, the NDC any day will lose to the MPP. With all humility, we understand that we, our party, our orientation, it's what prevails around the world. There are social democratic proposition is, is losing ground. There's nowhere in the economy where you see a booming social proposition as, as the NDC would like us to have. They only can flourish if there are grants around the world coming to help them. But we are able on our own generate and build an economy. That's what we have done in 20, we've done until COVID came in. So we're saying that if you can help, the situation can help Ghanaians, engage in a constructive conversation about ideas, the NDC will lose any day. Thank you.